Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto content. I hope everybody is having a great day or a great night wherever you are watching this and wherever you are watching this from. Um, but we have significantly changed since yesterday in terms of the overall market prices and overall market structure. Currently sitting at about a 1.94 trillion, down from our original 1.99 trillion dollar price target from yesterday, uh, sitting at about 1.55% down. Uh, Bitcoin is sitting at about 45k, almost flat, down about 1.58 in the 24 hour span. Uh, most altcoins are following it roughly. We actually see that ADA has dropped significantly. It is below two dollars now. XRP still riding the the $1.15 overall support, which is great to see. I personally love to see us back on support and kind of riding it. Uh, that way, you know, we don't break key fundamentals or technicals. Um, but most altcoins are following the Bitcoin drop. Some are following it a little bit worse. For example, um, our friend HBAR down here is down significantly about 5.19%. Uh, we nearly lost the 23 cent zone. I'm going to be talking about HBAR later on today and actually make an up 100% uh, video about HBAR uh, sort of like this. So with that being said, let's kind of address a few things. So let's actually come over to the Coinbase chart because it is a little bit more updated. So um, I said that we could be seeing this slight 12% pullback. I still believe that we could, um, especially considering the fact that we went up about 63.51%. We are actually where the bulls want us, uh, or the bears want us, sorry. Um, right now, anything under this level here, this uh, 48k, um, roughly, it, it's, it doesn't even have to be 48k. Uh, realistically speaking, if we actually come from, let's go from here, uh, right here, this 47.8k zone, uh, that is pretty much where bears want us. This is pretty much all bear t uh, territory that we're in, especially considering the fact that we broke down below the 200-day MA. Now, we pretty much look for this slight pullback to 42K. It doesn't have to go that low. It could even pull back to just 44.2K. As you guys do see, it is a major support. We could come down as low as 43.6K as well. Um, and then after that, it is pretty much all eyes on 42K holding. So, um nothing too crazy to report on in terms of that aspect i'm still looking for that nice pullback uh this pullback will basically be uh the correction after riding all the way up to these highs here uh, most of the pullbacks lately haven't been anything significant for example uh the reason why i call for about a 12.61 is because this was about a 12 percent pullback here uh we even see up here if we go from this line this was not too much of a pullback this was actually six percent um, and we also see up here that this pullback that we're currently in um, is only about a seven percent uh, so i do think that we'll come down a little bit lower uh, throughout the week uh, i think the week will be a little volatile we did break 45k on bitcoin we currently are sitting at about 44.9k um, but no need to fear overall i think that this is perfectly healthy i think that this was you know we're still holding the 100 day and the 50 day now those are fairly low i told you guys we could possibly even test the 100 day ma now that is all the way down at 38.4k i'm not currently looking forward to seeing that level um, i think that we most likely will hold something up here most likely we'll hold the resistance zone from back here at like about 42.4k almost 42.5k before we do ride the next wave back up which would essentially be a you know a repetitive uh pump from back here this will bring us back to about almost 70k and i do think from there we'll most likely have a slight pullback again you know and it doesn't have to be an upward path similar to this um, but I do think that that would be something that could play out um, where we will get our topping point somewhere in November uh, for Bitcoin. Again, roughly just to give you guys an idea on something, how this would work. Uh, so we would have the slight pullback that would last a couple days, um, most likely about it doesn't have to be nine days. But if we actually follow the same pattern here, so we'll actually kind of draw this perfectly, right? So the whole pump. Um, from the start to the finish was roughly about let's see um, I could actually do 
the date range. So this whole pump here was roughly about 25 days. Um, now the pullbacks, when we do see them, uh, you know, even if we look here, this whole pullback here actually started on this date. Uh, so this was 12 days of, you know, just straight upward momentum. Uh, and then we had some downward momentum that actually kind of started on this date. Um, but it all ended up lasting about roughly four days. So it wasn't really that much of a pullback. And realistically, it happened for three days. Uh, when we look here, this is pretty much when that momentum came back. Uh, the pullbacks do not last long, but I do think that this pullback will last a little bit longer. I do think that will pr pretty much range into the weekend. Uh, currently, today is Tuesday, so we still have a little bit of time. Uh, so most likely be a little bit volatile. I'm thinking maybe about four days, five days max to get to this point here. Uh, so that would pretty much bring us there. Um, again, it, it will most likely end off something like this where we do get that 12% drop on Bitcoin. I'm looking forward to seeing that. You guys don't have to. Now, save or so, if we do get that major uh, run again where it does last with slight pullbacks, of course, um, another 25 days, right? So 25 days uh, from this zone here will put us at an overall so let's do this it'll put us in the middle of september for our major run back up to really reclaim maybe 70k uh, i think roughly we could get to about 70k um, now obviously we will get another slight pullback this one might last another you know roughly we'll just say five days uh on average so this will pretty much bring us down again that 12%. So let's do um, the price range. So 12% from here. And again, this is not guaranteed. This is overall speculation. But I do think that this would be good because this, again, will pull back to about 60.5K. And if you actually look back here, 60.5K uh, is still a nice support and resistance zone. Yeah, sure, it, it doesn't have to pull back that much. For example, it could even just pull back to about 61.1K. And again, realistically, this is nearly almost 12% still. So I'm totally fine with that slight pullback. That would be totally fine with me. Um, and then the next run up will basically be our blow off top. Um, and this will take us, this I think will range us into... Um, kind of sidewards trading um it would be you know a little bit longer um, but this will take us pretty much to the middle to the end of november so somewhere roughly around here um, i know it is significantly more than these two dates um, realistically this could even last a little bit longer this doesn't have to be 25 days exact this could actually range us into the end of oh sorry let me grab this one uh, so this could actually roughly bring us into around the end of September, like I've been mentioning uh, multiple times. Um, and this will pretty much range us into that 65% uh, zone. And then we get that nice four-day pullback where we do pull back about roughly 12%. Uh, it doesn't have to be an exact 12%. It could even be somewhere in the 11% zone to test that nice support. Um, and then we would pretty much finish off with the blow off top uh, this will basically bring us to those nice price targets up into the 85k zone and i do think that that will pretty much end in around november or around the end of november now i do know a lot of people are calling for 100k i'm more in the 75 to 85k but if we do repeat those same pumps we will most likely breach um, 100k almost exact if we do see here right this is about 64 almost 65 percent at 100k exact so if we do repeat that overall process that is pretty much where we could end up over that 100k zone i don't think that it's going to play out perfectly like this i'm just going to tell you guys that right now but it would be very interesting to see something similar to this where we do repeat the same pattern again pullbacks are totally healthy you should welcome them when we do move up significantly like that that is why we take a little bit of profit even when the profit is not fully there but for an example on xrp again i told you guys even in my live stream video when we hit 130 we will most likely see a pullback to a dollar 10 because guess what happened back here 
we did the same exact thing um we topped out around we could um, actually see right here right we topped out about 142 and we still pulled back to a major support zone at 129. It happens pretty much all the time, but again, we were ranging with Bitcoin. So um, I even said, you know, this is a significant move up. Think about taking some profit at 130 because we could see a support zone hit at 110. X marks the spot in between these two support zones at $1.15 and $1.10. Even if you bought um, or sold and rebought at 115, you're still shorting it by about you know, I think we topped out at like 135, I think. Uh, so you're still shorting it about 20 cents, which is totally great. Um, 20 cents on each one, say for so you hold, I don't know, 25,000, 50,000, 100,000 XRP. That's totally great. So um, in my opinion, this played out perfectly. I still think that XRP is holding very strong support. I don't think that we break down too much for, uh, further. Now, if Bitcoin does pull back even more down to those 42k zones, that which is roughly about another $2,000 um, on XRP, we could retest a little bit lower at a dollar. A dollar would be fully fine in my opinion. We could even go down to a dollar five. Uh, wouldn't be too significant of a drop, like I said. Uh, I think that that would be totally healthy. I would welcome that. Now, you know, it, with that being said, um, I'm just definitely watching Bitcoin uh, at the moment. Bitcoin looks extremely weak. Bears are in control. So there are a few warning signs to really look for. Uh, so with that being said, um, just please be safe. Don't get too scared. Don't get too worried. Everything's still looking fine. Um, like I said, these pullbacks are totally healthy. Right now, the bears are in control. Um, I'm not too concerned. I'm not too worried. I'm not scared or anything like that. I do know the long-term vision right now of crypto. And I think the long-term vision is something like this, where we do continue to move up in that upward momentum, have slight pullbacks, of course, obviously, um, before we go much, much higher. And just to give you guys an idea on the slight pullbacks, uh, we don't necessarily need to pull back only 12% every single time that we move up. But you know, if we look back here, you know, we moved up significantly all the time um, and had even slight pullbacks in here when we did move up. Um, now we did get some major drops. For an example, here's a 26% drop. Um, here's another Bitcoin drop here at about roughly 20%. And we also have this drop here at roughly about 27% as well before we add that major drop. And even if we go back to as early as January, right? Here's that January drop. Our lowest printing candle was about a 31% drop. So uh, it is what it is. We could have a major drop like that. Now, just to give you guys a, a little bit of an insight and not to scare you at all, um, let me remove some of these. Um, so just to give you guys a little bit of an insight on where that would basically be um, in terms of like a 30% drop, which I don't think it, we would be welcoming that too much. Um, a 30% drop would bring us back down to key fundamentals at like about 33.5K. I don't think that we see that. Um, now, like I said, 20% down to 38.4K, almost 38.5K. Eh, not too bad, not too shabby to be honest with you. I think that that would be fine, but I'm more so leaning on the idea of retesting about 12.63% at 42K before we go much, much higher. Now, I just want to say right now, we break 48K on Bitcoin. And it's over for the bears. So uh, we, we don't have too much space to make up. Um, there's not too much space to not make up either. I mean, realistically speaking, uh, we could see a slight pullback, which would be totally welcoming. Um, I am expecting that 12% drop to 42K. If we don't hold 42K, then I, I would be looking for 38.5K just to give you guys an insight on that. Um, XRP, I'm still looking for us to hold support at about $1.10. $1.10 to $1.15 is totally fine with me. Um, but like I said, we could still see a drop uh, about $1.05 to $1, depending on Bitcoin and how volatile it does get. So with that being said, I'm watching Bitcoin closely. Like I said, if I see anything happening, I will definitely report on it. I've seen Bitcoin dropping. So obviously, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update just to make sure that you guys aren't getting shaken out or anything like that because everything is still playing out perfectly fine. So no need to worry. No need to fear. Everything is looking good. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys do want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.